public health. Minister, as of June 1st, the assistive devices program is now facing a $20 million cut in funding. Oh These cuts were made without any consultation with the industry and with no consideration of the vulnerable individuals that rely on assistive devices like walkers and wheelchairs. According to the Canadian Assistive Devices Association, Ontarians in need of these products will suffer due to these actions on the part of the assistive device program. The t this 20 million reduction is yet another example of your government cutting corners, like cutting funding for diabetes test strips, chiropractic care, physiotherapy, and, and cataract surgeries. This is going to have long-term consequences for seniors. Mm -hmm. So, Minister, Question. will you immediately reinstate the program so assistive device dealers across Ontario can continue to provide the necessary services for vulnerable Thank people? Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I appreciate the question. I'm proud of the fact that this province and this government is providing, through the assistive devices program, support to more than 300,000 Ontarians. Wow. And we've done that by, uh, in fact, that's an increase of uh, 100,000 people since when we came into office in 2003. The funding that we've provided to assistive devices in that program since 2003 has actually increased by 99 wow. percent, Mr. Speaker, where we're providing almost half a billion dollars to Ontarians and those Ontarians that deserve the support and need the support. Uh, but I think the member would uh, agree and acknowledge that as technologies evolve, efficiencies are find, uh, found. Rather, Mr. Speaker, we've learned that for some devices we've been overpaying as that technology has, has evolved. We've also found opportunities where, uh, by doing a request for proposals or uh, looking at providing them in a more efficient way, that we can also find. Thank savings. you. <laughs> Supplementary. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Well, we both know that there will be more need as the age of seniors uh, increases. There's more seniors in our province. So the reduction for the funding for the assistive device program will result in further costs to our health care system. I get these concerns in my community office every day. It's yet another example of your government spending a dollar to save a dime. This means cuts that uh, a grandmother would have to wait three months for funding for a wheelchair or pay out of her own pocket instead of receiving the wheelchair when she needs it. Instead, she's more likely to fall, end up back in the hospital, further costing the system and impacting the quality of her life. Minister, did you consider the impact that these cuts have on the quality of health care and the long-term implications to our Question. seniors? Thank you. Minister? Well, well. Mr. Speaker, we've certainly considered the impact of our changes and continuing to review the more than 8,000 uh, products that we provide through this program mm -hmm. to Ontarians. We've seen and we understand the improved access that they're going to provide, and in many cases, it's going to lower the cost to the consumer, to Ontarians, as we continue to review precisely how much we're paying for each one of these items. Mm -hmm. But we will continue to review the approved costing of the funding products. I think it's a responsible thing for a government to do, to not overpay for certain devices to, to pay the uh, appropriate amount uh, for them. And these changes, as I mentioned, in many cases result, actually result in lower costs for Ontarians. So this uh, speaks again to the importance of, we'll have an opportunity in a few minutes to make sure the budget passes so we can actually, actually implement these changes, these efficiencies and improvements so we can provide even more Thank services you. to Ontarians. Yeah. Mr. Speaker. New question, member from Windsor West. 